Well, home economics class can teach lifelong skills like sewing and cooking. And now a teacher in Door County is taking that one step further. Stacey Ingebretson shows you what she's doing to also give her students a lesson about the importance of helping others. It's tonight's NBC 26 Cares. Deb Ehlers teaches family and consumer science, home ec as some of us remember calling it in school. She recently attended a friend's workshop to benefit the nonprofit organization Dress a Girl Around the World. She was so touched by it, she's now bringing the program into her classroom at Southern Door Middle and High School. You have the end of your presser foot right on the edge of your pocket. Deb Ehlers is teaching her eighth grade students how to sew. Yeah, it's pretty easy. It's nice having a machine to do it. Like in the old days, they had to do it by hand. These skills, especially the sewing, they'll be able to use lifelong. Um, they need to hem a pair of pants. They'll be able to do that. But in Ehlers' class, they're learning much more than how to thread a needle and sew on a button. Just before you get to the pin, you can take that out. They're making clothing for the Dress a Girl Around the World program. Well, at first, like making dresses is kind of like, ah, oh, great, I gotta make girl stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool, like just helping people that can't afford it. David Wilming and his classmates are creating 17 handmade dresses to donate to children living in poverty. I think it's a really good idea to help kids who are in need. Um, I think it's also creative. I don't know, it's just a good feeling. Like there's so much bad stuff these days, it's like nice to do something nice. The Dress a Girl Around the World program started more than eight years ago and has delivered more than one million dresses to 81 countries, including the U.S. Organizers say the donations bring dignity to at-risk girls, empower them to fight sex trafficking, and can set them up to be successful in life. When the girls receive their dresses, I hope that they will realize that there are people of all ages in the world who care and want to help them. I'm hoping for them to be really happy and grateful that they got a pretty dress. Chloe LaCrosse says a project like this is important. Because some people don't have the things that we have, so I feel like if we help them, it could help encourage other people. Ehlers is proud of her students' efforts. It gives a warm, fuzzy feeling for them. Because they're sewing more than just a garment to earn a grade with every stitch. <laughs> They're providing hope. School staff and community members also rallied around the cause by donating the materials to make the dresses. Ayler says she plans to make this an annual class project. Stacy Angabretson, NBC 26. Anyone can make dresses for Dress a Girl Around the World. For more information about the nonprofit and how to get involved, just go to our website, NBC26.com, and click on this story.